Amazon retail stores are closing down as Jeff Bezos warns hard times are coming. The crushing crisis caused after the COVID-19 pandemic has left commercial emporiums in the United States in ashes. Who could have imagined that Amazon's economic empire would fall today? The technological titan of online sales has been experiencing financial difficulties in recent years. According to CNN, in the first quarter of 2022, Amazon shares plunged as the company reported a loss of nearly $4 billion. The shocking news stunned the company's investors and consumers around the world. People never ceased to be shocked when they heard the news that another major retail giant was succumbing to the crushing economic crisis caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. That is why in today's video we will show you the collapse of Amazon and the dark future that lies ahead for the company. Before continuing, I invite you to support our work with a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our videos. Since its arrival just a few decades ago, Amazon has been one of the most successful retail chains in the world, revolutionizing the way companies began to sell their products, without the need to sell their things from a physical location, since the genius from Amazon, and its creator, Jeff Bezos, was to save the products, be it books like technology and nowadays merchandise in large warehouses and not a market. Thanks to this, millions of dollars have been saved and they have changed the global market and the ways in which things were done up to that moment. Before the pandemic and during the confinement that humanity was forced to carry out, the million dollar company had the possibility of generating astronomical profits from its online sales. Since we take into account that it was a time when the whole world was locked in their homes, and the need to buy products remotely was the order of the day. But everything changed abruptly in the first quarter of 2022, when Amazon's financial statements showed a precipitous decline in its online sales. Since then, the landscape suddenly changed and everything began to turn bleak for the company, since the reason why certain companies begin to fail is not known quickly, and this was something that worried the company a lot. Obviously, the country's emerging crisis is an important factor when a company begins to see its numbers drop, but the fact that a multi-million dollar company has failures is worrisome. Throughout the year, news of the collapse of the online sales titan made front page on the news. News portals such as CNBC showed how the company's shares had the worst fall in the last 16 years. As Bloomberg News has commented in an article, Amazon becomes the first public company in the world to lose $1 trillion in market value. 2022 has undoubtedly been a nightmare for the company. A combination of rising post-pandemic inflation, slowing online sales, rising interest rates, and disappointing earnings updates led to a record stock sell-off this year. The company's market value fell from $1.88 trillion to $8.79 billion. Chief Executive Jeff Bezos one of the richest men in the world, lost $13 billion of his fortune in just a few days as a result of the Amazon stock debacle. The company's investors are stunned to see millions of their investments evaporate in a matter of seconds on the stock market due to the company's poor financial health. Also something that has always concerned the company for a few years is the desire of the workers to create a union, something that of course would grant their workers labor rights and a better salary but on the other hand it would lead Amazon to lose much more money, what you are missing right now. In addition to this, something that is affecting the company is the crisis that the world is suffering due to the scarcity of fuel and gas, which leads to an astronomical increase in energy. Historically, wars, economic crises, among other important factors, have always led companies to be seriously affected, even when they are market leaders and Amazon is by no means the exception to the rule. After the company incurred massive losses that sparked an outcry from investors, Amazon's board decided on a process known as a stock split to attract new investors. With this process, the company increased the number of shares on the stock market and lowered the price of the shares to make them more attractive to investors. Other measures taken by Amazon to stop the debacles of the company were the cut of its executive staff and the dismissal of more than 10,000 of its employees of the 1.54 million of its workers worldwide. According to the CNBC portal, the cuts would be the largest in the company's history and would mainly affect Amazon's device organization, retail division, and human resources, 
According to the report, the current global economic crisis is shaking the company and the cuts show us the deplorable economic condition that it has been suffering in recent weeks. Likewise, the announcement that the company froze hiring for its offices is added. Amazon hired massively during the pandemic to respond to growing demand and doubled the number of its employees between 2020 and early 2022. In addition, the e-commerce giant established a 5% charge for sellers for the first time in the history of the business. A company spokesperson reported that this measure is imposed due to a fuel surcharge and high inflation of 5%. This motivated the sellers to increase prices considerably by 11.2% in March, which caused the discontent of many of the company's customers. This emergency surcharge is the first implemented by an e-commerce giant, according to the Bloomberg site. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos expressed deep concern about the economy during an interview and urged Americans to wait to make big purchases before the holiday shopping season approaches. He added, what I can tell you is that the economy is not looking very good right now. The Amazon founder commented with concern to the famous news channel. On the other hand, he also warned that the worst of the crisis is yet to come and that people must start preparing. It is the best time to save money because of the great possibility that the financial crisis will worsen. There is no doubt that if this information is given by someone who will always have first-hand information about their own company, it signals that we should be alarmed about the economy. Due to this crisis, the company has recently closed 68 retail stores, 66 of them located in the United States, ending Amazon eBooks, for star and pop-up stores, which sell a variety of electronic devices. This could be a clue to how badly the company is doing, but it could also mean something else entirely. Let's keep in mind that Amazon, first of all, has been founded not to depend on retail stores and to keep all its products in several warehouses so as not to have intermediaries. Perhaps in the first place, the idea of opening Amazon-branded retail stores was a simple experiment, an expensive experiment, obviously. But maybe it was just a test to see how they could do. But seeing that they made more money keeping things in warehouses, they saw that it didn't make sense to open retail stores and that's why they decided to close many. The post-pandemic economic crisis has caused the collapse of large commercial emporiums. Amazon could not escape. A combination of rising post-pandemic inflation, slowing online sales and rising interest rates led Amazon to post the most disastrous losses in its history in 2022. The future is uncertain for retail chains, but especially for thousands of employees who could lose their jobs soon. Although this crisis could have some solutions, since Christmas is coming soon, and these special dates always tend to save companies from possible financial crises. In the same way, we know that Amazon is a company that would be difficult to go bankrupt, considering that it is a market leader, and it has also slowly created a large monopoly. Although we do not take anything for granted, taking into account that our times are strange and complex, and everything could change in a matter of seconds, since even the greatest world powers could fall, and even one of the best companies in the market could come to bankruptcy. Let's hope that doesn't happen, because it would bring major catastrophes in other areas. But we will see in the future what news it brings us. Meanwhile, we will be informing you if anything new happens. What do you think? 2023 will be the downfall for Amazon. Do you think that at some point I will break, or are they just rumors? Leave me your opinion below in the comments. We hope you have enjoyed our video today, so if you have enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or recommendations, please let us know in the comments section, and we will respond to them as soon as possible.